So today we're going to be drawing a snowy countryside. So what you're going to need is a green pencil, uh, some blue, some dark brown, and hmm, some grey and white. But because you're just paper white, you don't really need white, so ignore the white. Okay, so this is what we start with. Uh, we draw a curvy line down to the middle, getting smaller and smaller. And then you do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, then you draw a line like that. Then you draw that weird shape. Okay, and you need to draw some lines for the snow on the mountains because it's snowy. Uh, what is it called? Yeah. So then you colour this in grey with your pencil because your pencil's grey. Okay, so then you draw pretty much that all along the paper. Okay, and then you do it on the other side. And then you draw a line on it like the other mountain. And line under that and colour this in all then you draw another line for the snow because it's snowy. Thing music. Then you colour that in. Okay, then you do it on the other side, like everything. Okay, so then you're going to draw a, a, a line on each side and then one line there. And a line there, and then we draw a line there, a line there, or a twig there, then we draw a leaf there because it's okay. Then we draw leaves under the tree. Or a couple leaves. Hmm. There's a leaf pile because the wind blew it in that direction, so you can draw some wind like that at the top of the page, and the top of the page in the left hand corner, as you can see. Hmm. And here's what it should look like so far. Okay, I'm back to drawing. Okay, so then you draw another line there. And because it, the tree needs the trunk, it's going to get thinner and thinner because it is. Because I said so, actually. Okay, then you draw multiple lines for the tree. Okay, so, hmm, then you draw a deer next, so, I'm not very good at drawing deer, so yes, you draw a better deer. Okay, 
Okay, then you draw a horn like that, and a horn like that. Then you draw a curve on both sides, but making them a bit different because these horns aren't always perfectly symmetrical. Then you draw a curve on that one, and a curve lower on that one, and then you draw a curve there, and a curve there. So then you draw the rest of the gear. And it's less so chubby because it ate too much leaf. That's why it has no more leaf left in the pile. And it's so big because everything else is super small except for the stream and the tree super and the tree super small because there was a very small tree when the winter came. And that leg isn't as skinny because we decided to get it compressed to make it less skinny. I mean less fat. Okay, so then you draw an eye like that there. And do these have snouts? Okay, and because I think these have snouts like pigs, I'm going to draw a snout there. Okay, and so then I'm going to draw. Hmm. Do deers have snouts? No. Hmm, I'm just going to do that. Okay, so then you draw some details in the river. So draw random shapes like this. Okay, so here's what your picture should look like so far. Okay, and that's ice room because it's getting a little bit hotter, but still isn't that hot. Okay, so if you like and subscribe, I'll colour it in. Okay, have you done it? Yeah, you have. Okay, now I'm going to colour it in. So you get a dark blue, like this. And then you colour in the screen. And not too dark, because if it was too dark, it would look weird. Oh, the screen has been going onto the page, so that's and that's it. Just don't mind. Pretend I never said did anything wrong. Countryside, a snow countryside is this, is what it's going to be. Okay, so then, so then you're going to get a grey, like that, and then you colour it in very lightly on the things on the water. And then you get a, a light blue, and then you colour those in to make them look icy-ish. Okay, so then you draw a house right there. Okay, like that. And then you draw a chimney with balloons on because this is a house from up. Hmm. This green you're going to need random colours for the balloons. So, I the green I said you only needed a couple colours. You need any random colour to colour in the balloons at the end. Okay, so that's the house from up. There aren't enough balloons to pull it up, but still, balloons. 
There's probably more of this pig. Okay, so then you're going to focus back to the main thing and with your brown, and it has to be dark brown, because, I don't know, because they will look better. And this dark brown isn't very good, so I'm going to make my own dark brown. Just bear with me, if you have a dark brown, just pile it in and skip into the video. But still, like and subscribe. Okay, so then you do that, and because you probably don't have a dark brown, you colour it in grey to make it look a little bit like a dark brown. Okay, so now that you've done that, you get hmm, a orange brown, so you have to mix orange and brown. And then you colour the leaf in orange because there's just autumn and now it's winter, or nearish winter. So you colour them in brown and orange. You can pick how much layers of each one you want, but uh, I'm doing two of or three of each something like that okay so okay this is what it's meant to look like you can probably do better but still this is what it's meant to look like okay so then you get another layer of orange and put it on that leaf then another layer of brown then another hmm yeah i think that's how much layers i need Okay, so then you get a brown and you colour in this deer brown, but you add some dots so it looks more realistic. Although the deer is almost as big as, you know, a tree, but still, it's meant to look realistic. Okay, don't leave them white because deers have white spots. I'm not sure if they have no tramps, but still, they do in this picture then. If not, they're hybrids of a pig and a deer. Okay, so then, I forgot to colour in its eyes, so just bear with me. Then you colour in its eyes, so it's black, and then you shading the rest okay then you go back to coloring in the deer okay so the deer's done and so now we need to color in the house from up and the sky so yay okay so the house from up okay so you need a brown dark brown and by the way i don't know what it looks like i forgot so you need a dark brown for those log parts because it is like that. Okay, so then with the dark brown you don't like and looks like it's pink, all you need to do is use it once you finish doing the brick design on the roof. Okay, so once you've done that, okay, then you get the brown you don't need, which is here. And you colour in the roof with that brown you don't need because it's bricks. Okay, so then you do a light brown for the door and then you do a medium brown for the rest of it. Then with the chimney, it's meant to be grey. And then the balloons. Hmm, pick some random colours. I'm picking yellow, pink and how much are there? Four. So then I'm going to need... Uh, orange and a dark blue and I'm going to make it dark oh. and I forgot to tell you you would need a dark blue moon okay so now that you've done that you need to draw some with the dark green you just used some strips of 
grass because remember it's home for the end of winter and it's almost spring although it isn't like that in all places sometimes it's freezing cold in the middle of spring and yet burning hot in the middle of winter okay so once you've done some patches of grass and don't get to do some near the deer because deer eat grass okay so once you've done that you draw some anywhere you want except for in the mountains or in the sky okay so then you get the a light blue and you put the pencils you don't need away to never use again and then you colour in the sky and then you're almost done just kidding then you'll subscribe to this channel Pretend that didn't happen. Hmm. Uh, and if you don't subscribe and or like, hmm, a pain you'll become a painting. And then you'll be sold for millions. Just kidding, you won't ever be sold as a painting. So this is the picture done, and here you go, this is what it should look like, if it doesn't, it's okay, I don't mind, so, bye, have fun!